Okay, welcome back to the final portion of the 15 sounds exercise. This final variation is the simplest version because every limb is playing at the same time. It's also very similar to a Max Roach exercise that I remember reading about in Modern Drummer. I think he called it the drone exercise, where you're playing quarter notes and crescendoing and decrescendoing on each limb one at a time as a way to, again, build coordination and awareness between each limb. One important thing to note in this variation is that we're always striving for perfect unison sounds. In real music making, this isn't necessarily something that you always need to strive for. Sometimes it's cool if the snare drum's a little behind the hi-hat or the hi-hat's a little ahead of the kick drum. Just listen to any good music from the 1970s and you'll hear stuff like that. So in practice, I like to think about each of my limbs as a finger in a piano chord. No matter where the four note chord sits rhythmically, we want all four fingers to fall at the same time. Fingers. <laughs> Try your best not to flam with yourself. Also, counting out loud is going to be super helpful, especially in this variation, to take up the mental space when you're not playing on a downbeat. Also because there's no limb staying constant to keep time for your other limbs, so you're not allowing one limb to become a crutch. In a lot of ways, my right hand can become my crutch sometimes, where I'm creating things with the other three limbs and the right hand is my ostinato. This is kind of a way to break out of that habit. So here we go. Four limbs permutating all the 16th note variations of one beat. Okay, you did it, or we did it, or maybe you didn't practice any of this, so you just watched the video, but um, drummers, I encourage you to go check this out, try this on your drums. It's a lot harder than it seems, <laughs> at least for me. When I, I remember when I started working through some of this stuff, I thought, well, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's still somehow very challenging. Now take your time and try to string all four variations of this exercise together into one long chain, and then really fine tune which portions of it are giving you the most trouble. Again, coordination and calm transitions between permutations and cycles and variations of this exercise, that's the most important thing to worry about. Don't worry about speed. We're trying to coordinate all four of our limbs to be able to play any rhythmic variation of a 16th note with other limbs playing other things. Obviously, this exercise can be adapted a million different ways. You can try this with future sounds grooves from the Dave Garibaldi book, new breed systems that are particularly challenging, or any one bar groove that you really love that you want to work on. A great one for me has always been any sort of James Gadsden groove. Trying to do all of this stuff with that as my groove template has really helped my time, my awareness of the relaxation in each of my limbs. But the idea is, this exercise is malleable, so you can kind of shape it however it needs to be shaped to help you with your coordination issue. Use it however you feel it helps you the most. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on this channel. I'll be posting things I'm working on, things I'm teaching, drum things that I've always wanted to show to other people that I haven't gotten an opportunity to do. Thanks so much. See you next time.